Hey guys, uh, it's Anne Marie again, and uh, I'm back with episode 19 of Supernatural Season 1. Um, 19, episode 19. Three more episodes. I can't believe it. Three more episodes after this episode are left of the first season, and I, I breezed right through. Like, I'm proud of myself. I'm happy. I'm happy that I stuck with these videos, too. Um, yeah, this episode, it's called Provenance. Um, it's a little uh, strange, but I really enjoy I really don't know why I enjoy it as much as I do, but I do. Um, so I'm just gonna play and yeah. Right now I'm looking at a painting, like a very old painting. Of like a family. Mm -hmm. Probably in like the early 1900s. Right above the I can't believe we actually bought this thing. And now we're. Don't you think? I don't know. It's kind of familiar. creepy. It's a creepy photo. Oh, <laughs> it looks like a fairly wealthy couple. Um, they're just hung it up over their fireplace. <laughs> the likeliness of them making it is slim to none. <sighs> okay, the guy in the painting just moved. He moved again. It's like he's watching them. I'm sorry, my neck is really bothering me, so if you seem to crack it a lot, my apologies. I think it's from sitting while I'm sitting. Creepy, 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 creep. painting and as he passed it it was gone and she had a candle lit and it blew out you're not gonna want to turn out the lights The wife is uh, now dead in their bed, covered in blood. Uh, I'm pretty sure he just died too. What I say? Um, the era of flip phones. Bring me back. I miss flip phones. I wasn't tied to it. Like, honestly. Alright, listen, I gotta go. Hold that thought, I'll be right back. Here? Mm -hmm. Alright, so I think I got some. Yeah, me too. I think we need to take a little short, little, just a little bit. What is that, come? I'm still gonna do a little bit with you. So, what are we today? Do you know? Rock stars, the army rangers, LA TV scouts, and the people with special skills. LA TV scouts. Hey, put that pull off, right? By the way, she's got a friend over there. Probably hook you up. What do you like to have? No, thanks. I'm going to get my own day. It's a sandwich, don't. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. What do you got? Mark and Anne Teleska of New Falls, New York, were both found dead in their home just a few days ago. The threats were slipped. There were no prints, no murder weapons, all feet. 
No prints, no other weapons, all doors and windows were locked from the inside. Could you be going to Brian Murder, you know, not our department? No. Damn, this is different. What do you mean? Dad noted three murders in the same area of upstate New York. First one came out right here in 1912, the second one in 1945, and the third in 1970. The same MO as the Telescas. The ropes were slid, the houses were locked on the inside. Now, so much time passed between the murders that nobody checked the pattern except for Dad. He always kept his eyes peeled right now. Then down we go. Yeah. All right, I'm with you. It's so worth checking out. We can't pick this up for the first thing, right? Yeah, good. Team. Ladies. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I talked to my producer, and that is what I'm doing. My producer! Oh, this is a great scene. Great scene. <laughs> oh, and that's so not cool. I just spoke to what's going on with the email. It's cool. And last night, while we were. Times. I took the history of the house. No haunting, no violent crimes, nothing strange about the Palescas themselves either. Alright, so if it's not the people, it's not the house, and uh, maybe it's the contents, the first object or something. The house is clean. Yeah, no, you said that. No, I mean, it's empty. No furniture, nothing. What about the stuff? It's freaking weird. You imagine they die and they're like, all this crap goes, which is like really like, oh, so here's an estate sale. There you go. Messed up. I'm gonna come back and haunt y'all asses. <laughs> I'm Sam Waters. It's my brother Dean. We are art dealers with Connors on Lake. You're art dealers. That's right. I'm Daniel Blake. This is my auction house. Now, gentlemen, this is a private showing, and I don't remember seeing you on the guest list. We're there, couples. Excuse me. Oh my God, he's <laughs> such a dick. He's literally such a dick in the be I mean, he's a dick pretty much throughout, but at least in the beginning he was a funny dick. Like at later seasons he just just like Bleh. I'd say it's more grand wood than ammo glasses. But you knew that. You just wanted to see if I did. Joking and clumsy. I apologize. I'm so good at this. Sam, this is my brother. Brother, Dean. Dean? Yeah. Only it is more medication. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish. So, I hope you see it. Yeah. What, bud? Um, Come here. Tell us about the Tulesca estate. The little thing's pretty grisly. Oh, oh, it's funny she's being a big in the soon. But Dad's right about one thing. They say she only can bring that for her. Give me another chance. Ooh, I can't see that one of those. Is it possible to see the comments? I'm afraid there isn't any chance of that. Why not? You're not on the guest list. I think it's time to leave what we're doing. Well, that's true until you do, okay? So, we don't want trouble. <laughs> you really do want to be in a video, too. Yeah. Hmm. Dad, that was great. Grand Wood, Grandma Moses. What? Our history course. It's good for meeting girls. I don't even know you. It was good for meeting girls. <laughs> Oh my god, I forgot about this hotel room. It's probably like oh. the, the nicest hotel, hotel they stayed in. 
like a biography. And I'm going to use them to try to distribute the pieces. See if anything's going to break fast. Huh. We're not getting anything out of Chuckles, but uh, Sarah. Yeah. Maybe you can get it running all down on a cocktail night. <laughs> not me. <laughs> no, 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 no. Pick up some your thing, Dan. It wasn't my butt she was checking out. In other words, you want me to use her to get information. Well, you gotta take one for the team. Call her. Make she. Nice place. I love you. I wonder if his purring is that loud that you can hear it. Come here, bud, because then I'm going to take a break on my video. Oh. Come here. Oh, we're going, we're going to take a break. Look, Kim, we're going to take a break. Look, who say hi. He's not having it. He's like, mm -mm, no. No, and then he goes right back down. Mm hmm. Break time, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I know why I love this episode. I just didn't actually want to say it until it got to like a part where I felt it would be necessary. Uh, well, so Sam meets this girl who's like an art dealer, hence where the painting comes into play. And of course, he's like smitten with her. As it like, you know, the feelings are mutual with her too. Like, and you know, and I just, it's like my heart because he doesn't want to get too close to anybody. A, because of the lifestyle, and B, like he's still mourning the loss of Jessica, and it's just like, oh, you're so cute, I understand. Um, but one of the things that was said earlier, at least Dean said it, you know, they said, hey, like, I don't know what that loss is like, and I didn't really know Jessica, but I feel like she would want you to move on and have fun and enjoy yourself and sam just kind of sat there and took it in and was kind of like yeah like you're probably right like um i think as anybody who is in that kind of thing as it, like situation and they lose their partner what like you know you don't want them mourning the rest of their life like that's not healthy. Um, so without further ado, we're at that conversation between Sam and this girl. Really like, and then there's an episode in season two, favorite. And again, it's like with Sam and a girl. And oh, I can't wait to get to that episode. And my sister's home again, so pause again. Okay, so let's play this episode. <laughs> Is there something here between us or am I really? Remember that lip sync thing I told you about? Yeah, if that happens, not redoing this video. Wait, you lost. Like, it's hard to explain it. That it's just that when people are around me, so I'm not really hurt. What do you mean? I mean, like, physically hurt. With what my brother and I do, it's. <laughs> It's like, it's like I'm cursed or something. 
like this just follows me around. But I'm not scared of much. But if I let myself have feelings for anybody, you're scared they get hurt too. That's very sweet and very archaic. Sorry. Look, I'm a big girl, Sam. It's not your job to make decisions for me. There's only the chance to get I'm not talking about a broken heart and a tough hog in us. I'm talking about life and death. And tomorrow I could get hit by a bus. That's what life is. Mm. Look, I'm now losing somebody you love. It's terrible. You shut yourself off. Believe me, I know. But when you shut out pain, you shut out everything else too. Sir, you don't understand. The pain that I went through, I, I can't go through it again. I can't. Up. Apparently, the surviving relative of the merchant family was so ashamed of Isaiah that they didn't want to deter the rest of him. So they handed him over to the county. The county gave him the father's funeral, Gotham style, and then he was cremated and buried in pine bodies. So there are bones to burn. There are bones to burn. Just tell me you know where. Uncomfortably comfortable with this. Well, this isn't exactly the first grade we've done. Something on the catch. Hey, we got something. See, now I don't even know if that's the real song, but it still kind of fits, so it could be. Uh, Sam, you're the expert on all this ghost stuff. Is that painting supposed to look like that? This little girl. All right. Creep Jensen Apples out too. 
and his wind scared the crap out of him with him one time. And I think that's so funny. But it's not funny because dolls are creepy as shit. I, they're creepy. Nah. Well, that's fascinating. Is everyone important right now? Well, back then they used to make the dolls in the kids' image. I mean, everything. Like, they, they would use the kids' real hair. Yeah. Well, Sarah's the fellow I have the dolls' hair. Mm -hmm. remains. It's in his bones. Come on, Liam. Liam. Sometimes I wish I had the Winchester slide. It'd be interesting. <laughs> if I died, I'd die helping people, you know? It's kind of cool. Martyr, I'm sad. I love this episode so much. She was archived in county records. The merchant's adopted daughter Miller. Now, when she was up for adoption, there's a real family who was murdered in the face. Oh, she killed him? Yeah, this is Craig Harris, one little girl. So then she kills Isaiah and his family. The old man takes blame. The spirits are trying to warn people ever since. Where's this one go? Take it out back and burn it. I'm serious, guys. Thanks. <laughs> so what do you think we'll do it? Put some salt on it first. Kill herself. Just more torture. If she's gonna die, her spirits are just as dark. Maybe. I don't really care. It's over. We move on. I guess this means we're leaving. I'll go wait the car. Let's get set. Perfect doll. Just store the spirit. Don't take me or anything. <laughs> 
She's either like five eight or nine. Maybe we'll come back and see. Or like she's standing on a thing or like wearing well, these four inch heels. Well, that was that episode. Uh, the next episode. Uh, oh, it is the next episode. Oh, it's Dead Man's Blood. Well, I'll catch you next time for that one. That one is an amazing episode. Uh, peace out until next time. <laughs>